in this video we are testing Petra air conditioner 2 ton blower control panel it is not working in my last two videos I tested this IR sensor and 7 segment display and we found them that are good and today we will check the other components set multimeter to diode mode connect to the bar side of the diode that is cathode 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Now we can verify these diodes in reverse polarity. It's okay. Red lead to the cathode side. So these diodes are okay. Now set multimeter to di uh, resistance. 280 ohm 276 it should be 270 to 280 ohm it's within tolerance that's good now we can test LEDs diode mode this LED is working on on red white oh, yellow, yellow red ye yellow red red green green so LEDs are good and now we can verify these switches connect to the both side it's okay micro switch is good so micro switches are good now the remaining we have connector we can check connector we have desoldering here we have bad joint here you can see it is it have a circle so it is causing that it is not communicating with the unit I am using isopropyl alcohol that is technical alcohol so I will use Now we can see very clearly after cleaning one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pins have circles around the joints. So it is disconnection or it is bad joint. So we have to desolder and we have to resolder it again so that it will make a good connection. Now we can check continuity for the bolt, set multimeter to continuity and the affected pin that is pin number 3 from right side here we will check continuity 1, 2, 3. It is giving 0 ohm. With continuity we cannot detect it. Set to ohms. With multimeter it is 0.2 ohm. 0.2 ohm and here I am getting 0.7 we can say 0.5 ohm resistance for the cable and 0.2 ohm for our multimeter error so this point it is reaching here thank you very much welcome sir so here if we move the connector we can see it have intermittent display I move the connector when I move the connector the resistance changes so this was, this is the problem in this board one of whom when it will move it will change its resistance and it will not communicate now we will move to second wire 
brown wire number four one two I installed steel wire a very small size thin size so that it will enter properly in the connector and it cannot damage so brown wire it is here point it ohm normal here 1.1 ohm in the same way we will move the connector at this point so you can see because it is a control panel it is always to set the numbers digit settings so when press it, it disconnects from the circuit so that it was dead now we have to desolder and we will resolder it again and then we will check the same resistance on these pins we can see its resistance changes I will apply solder so that a good thermal conductivity should be there and now we can remove the bad solder from the joints using the solder sucker what is available with you just only heat up and release the lock it will suck all the solder in its chamber or uh, you can use desolder wick if you have desolder wick just only place it on the solder and heat up with soldering iron tip and pull it it will suck the solder in the braid and our connections will clean or uh, we can use desoldering gun now I remove the connector and I will clean it using a soft brush alcohol hold solder and remove it now after cleaning now I will connect in the connector set multimeter to ohms it is here point, point 0.8 now it is here 1 ohm now I will move the connector now the resistance is stable we will move to the next point pin number four so pin four is round here it is reaching here before this it was before this it was increasing before this it was increasing now it is stable so it's good now I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching
यहाँ पर 